So I guess just to start off, I mean, shooting in Chicago, do you have time to sort of explore the city and, and find places? I do. <laughs> what, type of, what type of places do you, do you find or, or go to? Restaurants. Mm -hmm. Too many restaurants. <laughs> What's the best restaurant for hamburgers? I don't even eat hamburgers. Mm -hmm. What's the best restaurant for chicken? What's the best restaurant for barbecue? I explored so many restaurants um, and so many mixed drinks later. <laughs> Um, I, I love this city, mm -hmm. and I was here with my eight-year-old daughter. So the parks, fantastic parks here, you know, just one of my favorite cities. What are the best restaurants in Chicago, just theoretically? I love the River Roast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to say, they it's just awesome. What about for you, Liam? What are your favorite well, places I did in Chicago? Well, I did a movie here over 30 years ago with, God rest them now, Patrick Swayze and Bill mm -hmm. Paxton, and we were brothers. Uh, I remember driving a motorbike that I did not have a license for. <laughs> and Patty, Patrick taught me how to ride, and uh, going to Kingston Mines and hearing blues for the first time. Hmm. That was quite extraordinary. So we did that most nights. We were, we were shooting a hillbilly movie here, mm. you know? Did you, did you go back to these places shooting this movie? Or? No, no I, I didn't really have time, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, you know? Um, but I certainly noticed a lot of changes, you know? I mean, it's just growing, you know? It it's is. fast. <laughs> when you get a script for something like Widows, does your character or script change at all when you sort of decide to join the project? No, I don't think this changed mm -hmm. too much. Certainly not what Gillian and, and Steve had written. What tends to be the first thing you do when you get a script to sort of find the character for yourselves? For me, I keep reading the script. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one of those. I'm, I, I work really slow. <laughs> so you have to read the script over and over and over again because if your character is described as, I don't know, I'm going to just throw something out that, uh, um, as being overweight, eats a lot, um, and then goes to sleep at six o'clock every night, then guess what? That's who you are. <laughs> and so that's why you have to read the script over and over again and get all the stats on your character. Mm -hmm. And then you, and then after that, you have to do all the work of creating a person. But you have to, I have to keep reading the script. Yeah. Is there something you learn in particular after rereading you know, 110 times, 1050 times? Absolutely, there's always a discovery. It's sort of like, it's sort of like being in a relationship mm -hmm. that sometimes it's like it takes you 15, 18 years to realize, that's right, he did tell me that when I first <laughs> met him. I just chose not to hear it. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what about for you, Liam? Well, I, I agree with Viola. I, you know, you read and you reread and you mm -hmm. reread, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but the first time I, this was a few years ago, someone taught me it was bullshit, 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 <laughs> my part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bullshit, bullshit, yeah. bullshit, my part. So you I feel like you that's too close. You get over that, you know? Yeah. Perfect. Thank yeah. you both so much.